I used to suffer from hypothyroidism. It's a frustrating disease. You'll know what I'm talking about. There's the symptoms. It made my hair thin out. I gained weight. Even when I was off my food, I got moody and occasionally depressed. Sometimes I was constipated. I was able to sleep a solid 10 hours and still wake up exhausted. I found it difficult to focus at work and struggled to really enjoy family and social life. My low moods and anxious thoughts created one or two relationship difficulties too. People tried to understand, but my condition wore them down. Even more frustrating was that doctors simply didn't believe there's anything wrong with me. After several discussions, my doctor looked at my thinning hair accepted that my dry skin and aching limbs wasn't normal, but then put my fatigue and anxiety down to me being preoccupied with my thinning hair and aching limbs. He told me he couldn't find anything wrong with me. He advised I eat better, exercise more, and take up a hobby. When he did finally have my blood tested, hypothyroidism was diagnosed. I was put on a lifetime course of drugs. They had some positive effect, but they mostly reduced symptoms a little. They never got rid of them. So I was still tired an awful lot, but I could mostly keep my eyes open. My hair and skin still thinned and dried, but a little less, and so on. The meds became a problem. I developed some dosage problems, which is common with hypothyroidism meds. They're sensitive drugs. A bit too much or too little can have dramatic effects on a person's health. Even taking pills from a new batch can lead to adverse reactions. My doctor informed me that for many people, thyroid problems fluctuate over the course of the year, which, as I found out, means the dosage had to fluctuate too. I've never been keen to take drugs for illnesses. They're toxic and natural and, over time, can cause as many problems as they solve. Yet here I was, stuck, basically. I wasn't getting better. The drug's downsides could hit me in between the eyes at any time, but I didn't know what else to do instead. Anyway, that's all done with now. I no longer have the disease, so I can look back on those days and smile. It's all over for me. I'm fully well. I do still recall it all, though, and I feel for others who are ill now in the ways I was then. My recovery is complete. It happened pretty quickly, about four weeks, give or take a few days. And that disease ain't coming back either. I'll explain why. Not everyone suffers hypothyroidism for life. About 18 months ago, a lady called Jody Knapp was in front of me in a long line at the supermarket. While we waited to be served, we started talking. Long story short, Jody knew all about hypothyroidism. She was a natural health practitioner and some years previously had helped a close friend who had it really bad get over the disease. Today, Jody routinely treats hypothyroidism in hundreds of people. She gave me a link to some information about how she approaches the disease, and we chatted some more while we waited. What I eventually learned from Jody about hypothyroidism was jaw-dropping, because I'm the kind of person who trusts doctors unquestioningly. If a doctor can't beat whatever you're suffering from, then it can't be beaten. Plain and simple. I realize that that sounds dumb, but that's how I am. When I was finally free of hypothyroidism, I changed that view. I had to. Because the essence of the problem is this. Doctors tend to treat only the symptoms of hypothyroidism. They fully understand that an underactive thyroid isn't producing the hormones the body needs. They of course know that these hormones, known as T3 and T4, regulate metabolism, which means they directly affect how fast your heart beats, how deeply you breathe, your body temperature, cholesterol levels, and whether you'll gain weight or lose it. And doctors understand the effects of an underactive thyroid, weight gain, depression, poor skin and hair quality, disrupted menstrual cycles in women, aching joints, ongoing tiredness, and so on. And so they tackle the hormones problem, insufficient T3 and T4, with artificial hormones and then, perhaps, tinker with the other effects, tiredness, low moods, and so on. But they leave underlying causes completely untouched. They say, for example, that hypothyroidism is caused by lack of iodine, but they don't explain why there's a lack of iodine. Some doctors recognize, correctly, that our immune system is running riot and causing our thyroid problems. But then 
They fail to ask, why is the immune system running out of control? What's the cause? Doctors administer drugs for the symptoms, the part of the disease that we can all see, and leave the underlying causes untouched. What Jody told me was very, very powerful. She said the primary cause of hypothyroidism was inflammation in the body. Scientists are already closely studying inflammation because it is implicated in many, many diseases. So if we tackle the inflammation, we've put paid to the hypothyroidism. So here's how we actually end up with hypothyroidism. If we trace the story backwards, we find that our thyroid is being attacked by our immune system. It's what doctors call an autoimmune disease. Why is our immune system attacking our thyroid? This is well understood. It works like this. One of our immune system's vital jobs is to attack excess toxins in your body. Toxins, or poisons basically, in the body are natural and normal. A healthy body can handle them. Toxins come from both the food we eat and from the wider environment. Chemicals from household cleaners, for example, or soaps and deodorants. But we must get rid of them from our bodies. They are dangerous if left unchecked. Various body systems do this, and our immune system is one of those systems. Our immune system releases inflammatory cells to do the job of neutralizing and removing toxins. These inflammatory cells give rise to inflammation. Inflammation is simply blood, killer cells, liquids, and so on that rush to an area of the body to handle a wound or tackle bad bacteria. You'll experience inflammation in the redness and swelling of an insect bite, or a bad scratch or a stubbed toe. Heat, redness, swelling, that's your immune system working to fix a wound and fight any possible infections. And when the job is done, the system relaxes, recuperates, and is ready for the next fight. But there's a big, big problem here. It's known that our modern lives bring into our bodies amounts of toxic material that we often just can't deal with. 24 hours a day, modern men and women are exposed to environmental and food toxins that many of us don't even realize are there. Which means the immune system's work is never-ending. There's little let-up in the excess toxins it's forced to deal with. And on constant high alert and always being called into action, it becomes stressed and exhausted, which leads to it making some serious mistakes. Most notably, it sends inflammatory cells everywhere, and they start to attack healthy body tissue, and whatever tissue they attack leads to a specific disease. This is called an immune system disorder. In fact, scientists have verified over a hundred immune system disorders. They take different forms, attacking different parts of the body. In rheumatoid arthritis, the immune system is attacking your joints and connective tissues. In diabetes, it is attacking your pancreas. In celiac disease, it's attacking your gut lining. In Hashimoto's thyroiditis, the victims are your thyroid cells. This isn't theory. It's verified science. But what's frustrating is that we know what causes that ongoing inflammation. These days, there are too many toxins in the average person's blood, and our immune systems are struggling to cope. Our immune system malfunctions, attacks our thyroid, and stops it producing vital hormones. And so we experience all the typical symptoms of hypothyroidism. Don't take this personally. By the way, the revelation that your body is carrying excess toxins shouldn't be taken personally. It's not your fault at all. Ongoing chronic inflammation caused by excess toxins in the body is widespread. You're not alone. It affects millions of Americans. We do little about it because we don't really know how to. We're exposed to so many toxins, we hardly know about a single one of them. And those that get into our bodies are working our immune systems into exhaustion. Many of those toxins are unknown to us ordinary folk, but they're avoidable, easily avoidable, but only when you know what they are and where they are. Fortunately, that's where Jody Knapp comes to the rescue. The solution is staring us in the face. If modern research is revealing that hypothyroidism is caused by inflammation, we should be solving the inflammation problem, right? And that's the key to Jody's approach. Hypothyroidism is the symptom. The actual disease is inflammation. The cause of that inflammation is excessive toxins in our bodies. That forces the immune system to work until it's overstressed and exhausted, 
whereupon it malfunctions and attacks healthy body tissue. In our case, it attacks the thyroid. Who knew? Well, everybody, actually. It turns out that none of this is revolutionary information. Jody certainly takes absolutely no credit for discovering any of it. Medical science and academic research discovered the link between toxins, inflammation, and a whole host of apparently incurable diseases years ago. The trail from toxins to disease is well understood. But there's always a substantial time gap between what science finds out and what the health industry does about it. So when practitioners like Jody focus on inflammation in order to remedy disease, they are simply following the science. And when she achieves the outstanding results that she achieves, it isn't because of some weird potion she cooked up or because of strange rituals or weird incantations. It's researched, tested, validated science. Jody has taken all the complexity, all the deep learning and the testing and confirming that would have taken years for someone like me to learn, and turned it into something that the average Joe can use pretty much without thinking. Instead of picking off individual symptoms, hair loss, fatigue, depression, with pills and potions, she goes to the heart of the matter, the cause that underlies the whole darn mess. And since that mess is created by the excesses of normal life, it's normal life that Jody enlists to rid us of the disease, which means that most of it is stupidly easy to do. And when it's done, the thyroid is no longer under attack from our own immune system. It switches back on, and once again, produces those hormones that are essential to our physical and mental well-being. So now you know where your hypothyroidism comes from. Like millions of people, you have excess toxins in your body. Your immune system uses inflammatory cells to attack the toxins. It never finishes the job because there's always an excess of toxins. So the immune system never gets to recover. It eventually becomes overstressed and starts to malfunction. That malfunctioning immune system begins to attack healthy tissues, which causes hypothyroidism. Doctors have finally realized the immune system part of the equation, which is good news in itself, but they increasingly prescribe immunosuppressors to shut the immune system down. This might stop the attack on the thyroid, but now without any immune system at all, you are wide open to catching other infections and diseases. That's hardly a satisfactory outcome, is it? Hypothyroidism isn't the disease. And that is why Jody ignores the disease we think we have, hypothyroidism, and goes full on to tackle the disease we actually have, chronic inflammation. Get rid of that, and the hypothyroidism simply can't exist. And that is exactly what I did. Jody showed me how to hit the inflammation head on. And after some weeks of doing exactly what she told me, it and my hypothyroidism were history. It's been a year and a half since I last had even a whisper of any symptoms. One thing I know for sure, it's gone and it's not coming back. No doctors, no drugs. Jody doesn't worry about pills, drugs, or any other kind of medication. Over a couple of years after she helped her friend overcome hypothyroidism, Jody developed, tested, and proved a natural, drug-free approach to reducing dramatically our exposure to food and environmental toxins. The subject is complex and requires a deep understanding of where toxins really come from. None of it is as obvious as we might think. But with reference to all the latest research from scientific and university researchers across the world and the willing participation of a number of human testers, she has created a fantastically effective hypothyroidism solution. She goes for a powerful, natural attack on the disease's real, deep-rooted causes. Once her process is underway, it's impossible for the body not to respond. Jody's solution freed my thyroid to do its job again. I have healthy levels of thyroid hormones in my body and zero symptoms of hypothyroidism. Let me describe exactly what Jody's hypothyroidism solution does. A little bit of knowledge goes a long, long way. You need to know how to reduce the toxins going into your body. They're provoking your immune system and leading it to attack your thyroid. So what we need to understand is, 
where most of the toxins we're carrying actually come from, how to reduce our exposure to them without disrupting our normal lives. Then, over time, gently transition yourself to the new habits that are going to restore you to wonderful health. You're not doing a revolution here, by the way. There's no strange foods, weird potions, or bizarre rituals. There's no expensive supplements, calorie counting, or gym workouts. Thank goodness. In fact, I was just a tiny bit surprised when I saw Jody's solution for the first time. Is that it? I wondered. Sure, her explanation of why this solution worked was entirely convincing, but the actual remedy seemed so... ordinary. I thought maybe I'd missed something. Some weeks later, and with not a single sign of hypothyroidism anymore, I realized I simply need not have worried. How it works. Have you ever seen one of those domino displays on television? Where they push over one domino and it knocks down the next domino, which knocks down the next, and so on until thousands of them are toppling over? This is what Jody's solution is doing. The first domino is getting rid of toxins, which knocks over the next domino, relaxing the immune system, which knocks over the next domino, ending that chronic inflammation, which knocks over the final domino, an unharassed thyroid that's now free to switch back on and release those vital hormones back into the body. The simplicity of all this was that once I'd toppled the first domino, the rest just took care of themselves. Some days later, my thyroid was gradually able to resume its good work, and my symptoms started to reduce. But first, I had to realize that the toxins in my body that led to inflammation were put there by me. I did it to myself. Now, I was a little offended by this. I don't do anything that anybody doesn't do. But then, maybe that's the problem. Scientists now confirm that a whole range of illnesses, diabetes, Alzheimer's, fatty liver, kidney disease, heart disease, and certain cancers, are simply the result of inflammation. And all these diseases are on the rise because inflammation itself is on the rise. Inflammation is increasing because the accumulated toxins in our modern life have gone way beyond the safe point. We're all getting sicker, not just me and you. And it's not our fault at all. The logic is inescapable. Toxins don't just appear. We're always acquiring toxins, and we get them through two main sources, our food and our environment. In our modern world, the amount of chemicals used in food production and cleaning products is astonishing. Avoiding them is really difficult if you don't have some essential knowledge, and most of us don't. In fact, a couple of the foods we think of as healthy simply aren't. Many others are fantastically good for us. When we know what's what, we can make some excellent choices and experience astounding changes. Same with household and personal products. Many ingredients are actually deadly in high enough doses, yet we cover our homes and bodies with them. And this is how we deliver too many toxins to our stressed immune systems. This is why we get ill. We pretty much can't help it because we mostly don't know what we're doing. But once we do know about it, we can stop hurting ourselves. If lifestyle got us into this situation, then it'll be lifestyle, not pharmaceutical drugs, that will reverse us out of it again. So what do we do? Well, don't stop eating, and don't go on some crazy, restrictive diet that saps the joy out of life. And don't stop using cleaning agents to clean your home or body. The solution is, one, to first understand exactly where most toxins are coming from, and two, to swap some of those sources for items that are significantly less toxic. In truth, there's actually not that much to avoid. A fairly small number of things cause most of our problems. And just a small reduction in toxins coming into our bodies can have a huge effect on our immune system's ability to function properly. If you know exactly what you're doing, then you can achieve a significant change to your symptoms with only minor tweaks to your shopping list. So we swap a few items here for some replacement items there, and carry on as before, but this time without hypothyroidism. Jody's solution lists everything that is involved in our work to rid ourselves of hypothyroidism. She shows the short list of items we should use sparingly, or not at all. This does include a couple of items that are generally considered healthy, but which, in fact, are best kept to a minimum. She shows us the stupidly long list of stuff that's okay. 
that we can eat or use as much of as we want. And that okay to eat includes some food items that diets and detoxes tell us to avoid, which produces some lovely surprises. For example, coffee drinkers can breathe a sigh of relief. Coffee is fine. My favorite drink actually is hot chocolate. I'm still a kid at heart. Not only is it on the long, long list of foods you can enjoy, Jody even shares a recipe for one of the most delicious hot chocolates I've ever tasted. Like meat? Then eat it. Jody advises on the best practices so you're eating for optimum health, and you can fry your food, saute, or bake it. Again, she's not saying no. She's showing you how to do it so that we're stepping closer day by day to eliminating every one of those hypothyroidism symptoms. And this is the thing. If we ignore online gurus and YouTube videos and actually go where the science takes us, then there is no cause for restrictive, miserable diets that we're just not going to keep to. Food should be enjoyed. So enjoy it. Everything everywhere. Everything on her list is available at my local supermarket. A lot of it I already had in my kitchen. I simply needed to be using more of the good stuff and a little less of the bad stuff. But it's all common items that can be found in any food store. And why would it be any other way? After all, ordinary stuff causes this disease, and ordinary stuff will get rid of it. No need for anything exotic or complicated. An easy solution made even easier. Jody's hypothyroidism solution lists everything I need to know. She lists what needs to be reduced or replaced, and she showed me what to replace it with. And then she showed me how to put this information into action. Jody provided a four-week plan for me to follow that eased me into the new way of doing things. That new way isn't dramatically different from the old way, but I found it incredibly useful to be able to take on new habits one at a time. I also appreciated the hand-holding. I'm not lazy or stupid, but I'm not sure I would have put all this together myself and just got on with it. Jody's step-by-step -step plan made it super easy to start. Continuing after that was a piece of cake. The 80-20 rule. And Jody is a very practical person. She knows that we humans don't much like restrictive lifestyles or strict rules on what we can and can't do. Her plan is gentle, gradual, and easy to implement. I developed her lifestyle habits quickly. They're deceptively ordinary. But she recognizes that we'll meet up with friends or go to parties and will almost certainly indulge in unhealthy stuff, and that's fine. Do it right for 80% of the time, and the body will take care of the other 20%. And she was right. I was delighted with how things worked out, and I feel absolutely wonderful. Fast, easy, effective. Five or six days into the four-week plan, I started to feel the effects. I felt a lot lighter, and I seemed to move in a more relaxed way. It's hard to describe, it was very nice, though. I slept a heck of a lot better, and I didn't really have a sleep problem in the first place, so that was quite a revelation. At about the 10-day mark, my mood lifted noticeably. I mean, I woke up and felt very different, in a good way. I might have been at the point that things just ran away with themselves. I suddenly had more energy, more enthusiasm for life. I weighed myself at the three-week point and found myself four pounds lighter, I wasn't actually dieting. In fact, I followed Jody's advice to eat until I was full. No need to tell me twice to do that. That weight loss continued slowly but steadily until I was about 10 pounds lighter. At the end of the four weeks, I just carried on doing what was clearly already working, and I never stopped. It's no surprise that it worked. The science behind Jody's solution is extensive. Some of the research is decades old and is now mainstream. Other findings are from the last few years and are being proven over and over. The science, the research, the experiments, it's all fascinating, but I was here to get rid of hypothyroidism. For me, no longer having that disease was all the proof I needed. The end game. At the time of writing this, I've been healthy and happy for the best part of 18 months. I haven't experienced a single hypothyroidism symptom for a year and a half. Now my mood is always upbeat, my hair is as healthy as the rest of me, I am never tired, unless I've been out all night, but that's a different story. Nothing aches and, for the record, my bowel movements are perfect. 
other symptoms I'd forgotten about, like tingling in the fingers, have disappeared. The dark spots under my eyes cleared up in about six weeks. And the weight I lost using this program has never come back. Jody's hypothyroidism solution is proven over hundreds of cases. I was one of its original success stories. You can be a success story, too. There is no need to suffer anymore. The way in which you acquired your hypothyroidism was pretty straightforward. You'll get rid of it the same way. And Jody's program will make sure you do. So now your only risk is to do nothing. If you've suffered enough, then it's time to be kind to yourself. Jody showed hundreds of us how to attack our disease at its core. It's not an exaggeration to say her solution is life-changing. Her hypothyroidism solution can be in your inbox about two minutes from now. And so it's no big deal for her to guarantee her results. Put simply, if within 60 days of purchasing the solution, you are not completely happy with the changes to your health, your mood, and your sense of well-being, then you can have all your money back, no questions. Click the link below to get the solution right now. Remember that it's the science-backed foundations of Jody's hypothyroidism solution that is making it work. Some aspects of her approach have been adopted by mainstream doctors. One day, they'll offer what Jody offers. Big Pharma won't like it because it doesn't cost anything to you. But I loved it. As my symptoms fell away, I just got happier and happier. Her solution is doing something intelligent here. It's not picking off individual symptoms with drugs. It's addressing the underlying problem at its cause, where it all began. We're reversing how we got hypothyroidism in the first place. We didn't get it with pharmaceutical drugs. We won't lose it with pharmaceutical drugs either. This approach has had fabulous results for hundreds of people who have completely reversed every single one of their symptoms. There's no reason why it will be any different for you. Click the link below to get started this afternoon. And remember, what we address changes, but what we ignore doesn't remain the same. It deteriorates. The long-term effects of fatigue, low moods, and anxiety are not pleasant. Family life suffers. Friendships start to fall away. Life just becomes so much less enjoyable. Hair and skin starts to suffer. Even if you're not especially vain, dry skin, marks, and thinning hair makes anyone self-conscious. I halted my own deterioration by stopping it in its tracks. I rid my body of the toxins that had started the whole thing off. When I did that, all those dominoes fell, and I was healthy once more. Take charge of your hypothyroidism before its grip on your life becomes total. Jody's plan has worked for hundreds of people in your situation. If within 60 days of buying Jody's solution, it hasn't delivered the results you want, you can have your money back. All you really have to lose is everything that's miserable about your hypothyroidism. I'd say that's well worth losing. Let's start now. Click below and you can have the hypothyroidism solution in your inbox in about two minutes.